We haven't done a count run in a while. Let's... I guess we'll just see where it takes us. Count is... Uh, has a little bit of a dangerous early game, but then becomes kind of an unstoppable force in my experience. It's it's just it's the thin deck makes such a difference on count. That's what's so frustrating. Like there's there's no other hero that starts out with so little going on. Bad grabs by me though, I will say. I mean, if you're going to offer me poison daggers, I'm going to take poison daggers. They just, they grab so easy. We know what we're looking for, though. We're looking for a magnet. We get one magnet, and this is kind of GG. These are not it. Sickle seems fun, but I think we we know that if we're if we're going for it, we're going big. Uh this this guy rolling in immediately. Ooh, snap. Gotta be another vampire fangs. Get that healing going. As far as I know, there are no artifacts that 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 proc off of healing, are there? All right, GG. We do need to get the magnet upgraded, obviously. But even in its current form, that's going to be a lot of action. Gosh, more Vampire Fangs or Berserker? Probably Berserker, right? Well, okay, if we don't have a way to do damage to ourselves... Berserker is not going to scale that well. So it's got to be Vampire Fangs. We don't really care. We care about upgrading the Magnet. So we go down. Oh, it almost slipped away from me. He's he's by far the strongest hero, uh, Alpha. Like, if if you're looking for kind of like deep infinite runs, it feels like the the count is the is the way to go. This guy proved surprisingly durable. Really? You're not going to give me anything there? Humph. I I do feel like one thing that I would I would change the balance of if I had my druthers is minimalist. It seems like actually getting your uh, getting everything out of your claw machine is like relatively difficult to do, and so I think it should have more of a reward associated with it. Yeah, the magnet claw guy also very, 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 very strong. Do we need second magnet? Yeah, that that was the other one that was a pretty a pretty solid infinite. All right, well we're done with our turn.
I guess we just pick up some fluff for reasons. We do need a Midas hand. So we can convert that fluff into money and go infinite on money. But yeah, like Minimalist would be procking for two strength every time we emptied things out. But two strength doesn't feel like enough of a reward to justify. To justify how much work that is. So I kind of feel like it should be something like it doubles your strength. But that might be very, very broken. Because then you would be potentially doubling your strength every round if you... Uh, oh, missing that was a bad grab. So like to remove the big sword. It's not it's not serving any purpose for us. The strength potion triples strength uh, when upgraded, so it has uh, and it has no conditions. Uh, well, I mean it it is one use. It is single use in Lustrous, whereas minimalist would be every round you're doubling, which I think could be like a lot. Like you know that's like. That's a different level of infinite. You can, but you'll always run out of them, right? Whereas, whereas the minimalist, you, you will never. But it's once a turn, but it can go on forever, right? Magic Mirror we know is good. We're looking for something a little better. Contagious Venom. Oh, Junk Jet. Well, if we're if we're just speed running, going infinite here, I guess we go this way. Do we have anything we want to remove? No, we want to upgrade again. All right. If we weren't already healing enough, now we are definitely healing enough. We liked having the occasional Holy Shield in our hip pocket. It does not magnetize, so it just kind of sits there and we can decide when we need it for, say, mitigating bombs and, and the like. We're, we're probably pretty close to being done, so this is probably as good a turn as any just to grab the Holy Shield so we only take one damage from uh, from that guy. Just stand up and, and get ready to get collected. Thank you, Pile. Poison Dagger is fine. I will say our, our cash flow is looking pretty decent considering we have not... We've not picked up Hand of Midas. I wonder if Hand of Midas is a trap for for runs like this. Ah, no. we need Because we need to get unlimited gold so that we can start scaling and maybe shift into golden daggers so that we're doing like a thousand damage a hit instead. All right. Poison, uh, contagious. Oh, wait. I thought we already had contagious venom. Oh, no. I guess I didn't take it. Picky's never going to happen. Greedy is bad, but we'll take it. You get upgraded. You get upgraded.
All we care about is getting piggy banks. We are full health. Oh, denied. All right. Hello, Cthulhu. How are you, Lou? I was going to say, I don't mind grabbing the whole thing. We'll get it on our second one. Ooh, and, and the cheeky grab from, from the lower right-hand corner. Last time we did half his health, so it looks like this time we'll probably do the other half. Oh, we get the single grab on the sword, so it's going to do double damage. Magnetism versus poisonous weapon. This is a slightly hard decision. We don't have contagious venom yet, so poisonous isn't doing that much work. I'll take magnetism first. Obviously, we want both, but... This may be controversial, but to be on the safe side, since everybody is currently wailing on us, I'm going to grab the holy shield. It's such a good insurance policy. Now, one thing we've never tried doing is waiting until this battle and trying to go, like, semi-infinite with Midas Hand. Because with the Fluffsters, you can, you can go for, like, they keep generating fluff. So... I kind of don't want to pick up the hand, but I think I'm, I think I'm stuck picking up the hand. Oh, oh, it almost fell out. Is the hand made of metal? It is. Okay. Yeah. So it was never getting it was never getting removed from there. Probably worth picking up a holy shield here. Yeah, now that I think about it, maybe holy shield is the is the thing that Felina needs for for scale purposes. To get, to get the Thorns build going, maybe you need to pick up Holy Shields. That sounds pretty reasonable to me. Yeah, Clemens, I, I really love the music. It, it could be, actually. I, I, I can't place it either, but it does have that kind of vibe. And, and I do really enjoy it. We don't need another Magnet. We don't need a Poison Grenade. We don't need another Hand of Midas. I think we just skip. But yeah, picking up some holy shields on Felina would definitely it would it would it solves bombs, it solves reflects, solves a lot of stuff. All right, I would like to get contagious venom. More junk jet does not help us out. We, we have learned the hard way that we only get one proc per junk jet. Ooh. 
what you want is one junk jet and as many vampire fangs as you can uh, as you can muster. I know we'll eventually be getting rid of regular daggers, but for now, they they do help our burst quite a bit. The only guy that is attacking is dead, so we'll just pick up a dagger. What uh what happens if you if we take picky and we get holy shield doubling? It doesn't give it to us for two turns, does it? That would be interesting. Gauntlet does nothing for us. I don't know why I want this golden dagger so badly. But apparently I do. If we get two, I'm happy. Because we're only getting one out of this one. Oh, imagine having a magnet claw for that. <laughs> okay. Now you, my friend, what are you? Oh, picking up a picking up a holy shield there was definitely greed. Can you please just get that in there? Thank you. Well, that is a that is a clean trough, that's for certain. Easy peasy. All right. Uh, sure. Contagious Venom can be a thing. And then for our own protection, we grab a Holy Shield to make this not terrifying. I'm just going to take some damage. I want to get the I want to get the coinage in. Oh yeah, we have contagious venom now. So that's going to be good. Junk jet carry. Okay. This fight will be over before we get before we use our second uh, our second holy shield, so that's fine. Brass knuckles are another interesting solution to things like bombs. I am fine taking this to two turns, so I'll do this. Please don't kill him before I can get all of these coins in. Thank you. Should I just grab a holy shield first? Probably a good idea. 
This is this is a fairly large amount of damage coming in. Ooh. The nines we can take, so we're hoping that we can get everything in. Oh, man. We've had pretty rough luck with, uh, with our ball of stuff right now. We're, we're in that, that uncanny middle divide. What are we removing? Not that much. Ideally, we, we don't want the hand of Midas to go. We didn't we didn't pick, draw either of our uh, of our holy shields. Not that we need them right now, but. That'll probably finish it. Yep. Okay. Too much Midas gold? I mean, but that's that's gonna become our scaling engine later on. So it's like it's it's hard to, to complain about that. <laughs> I hope this gets it. All right. So this turn plan is just to kill the bomb. We cash in. Nice. Okay, I think I grab this first, and then I hope that we can grab this. Ooh. Oh, we got. Oh, we got the claw inside the magnet, which is usually like extremely, extremely good for business, but. Like, if you really want to grab onto a magnet, that is the way. Get the tip of your claw inside the magnet is good for business. Are we in gold dagger territory? I'll pick up a gold dagger. They're not as easy to pick up, so I'm not a huge fan of them. Ugh. Picking up the Midas hand was a bummer. Although, as it, as the Midas hand fell down, it converted this one, which was kind of funny. I was a little greedy there, not uh, not grabbing one of the shields, but just really want to get this pile of gold. I failed to do. I'm probably at the point where I'm d deleting daggers, so I'm not sure that was the best plan. I'm going to do like two daggers. And then for the shredder, you, certainly you. We have three regular daggers, seven poison daggers. So if I do one more, then eventually we'll have... We'll have seven and seven. We we just lost a bit of power there, obviously. But we've also made our, our pile perhaps a little more manageable. Our, our blob, as it were.
get in there. There we go. Somehow I left Midas hand too. That's the that's the dream right there. Yeah, we, and we don't even have... We have Contagious Venom, but we don't have Poisonous Strikes or whatever it is yet. So, Poisonous Weapon, I think, is actually the name. So, it only stands to get better from here. We're done with Daggers. Done with Magnets. What are we... What are we picking? I guess we're just picking up Golden Daggers now. And we're going to start trying to do Gold Scaling. We could also potentially incorporate some... Some thorns into this build. We do get hit a lot. I do, I do think that not taking Berserk early might have been a bit of an error. But eventually we, we need to one round everything. So... This could technically get two pigs, or it could get no pigs. Lame. But yeah, I think the... Right now, the, the economy balance... Midas Hand is so singularly dominant. I think there needs to be more paths to gold dominance. Okay, we want to save our... Save our stuff. And... As a result, I don't think I try and pick up this last poison dagger. I think we just chill. And I think we just get a holy shield. So we don't care about what happens next. And then just grab all this stuff. And it's all over. Berserker, Bulwark, or Swamp. These are all bad. Another Vampire Fangs. Never say no. Uh, upgrades is what we want. Easy mode and Lustrous. Easy mode. We do... I, I wouldn't turn down a natural strength, I will say. I, I think that that could be good, but... I think at this point, we're trying to get rid of all of our regular daggers and replace them with golden daggers. And other than that, we're just kind of chilling. Yeah, so Poisonous Weapon, some Natural Strength just to, to get a little bit of scaling going, but I haven't fully... I think Gold is our is our main scaling function. I think I will always take another Holy Shield. Like, there's no... There's very little downside to grabbing more. And then I don't think we're in any jeopardy here. Yeah, I think it's, it says gold number goes to infinity, damage goes to infinity as well. And that's our that's our plan. We 
We'd love golden. We'd love uh, golden armor. Would be great. Vampire fangs would be fine. Those are really the two in here that I think I'm most interested in. I've never taken lucky before. And I, I didn't have a better option. So this is upgrade? Yeah. I think I'm going to replace all the daggers. So I'm not going to bother spending money on them. Bad, bad first round grab there. This guy's not going to scale up. Yes, generally it is good. Um, sometimes a little hard to, to fully justify, I feel like. Like, in a game like this, having an extra... Because it's only at Perko mats, right? That this is going to be useful. I'm not sure that it, it moves the needle too much for us. We could certainly take a Berserker. It would it would cause us to scale on fights where we're not one-rounding, but I don't think we're not one-rounding that often. Poison Weapons, I think, is good. It'll give us that Cascade. So, okay, so we took Lucky. So at Perkamat, we get extra options. We need some type of self-harm to make Berserker work. But yeah, I think poison poison is very strong here. Uh, oh yeah, we clear this whole this whole floor, so we're fine. We can just we can do everything. A little bummed that the Midas. Oh, that'll be good. All right. Get in there. I I think I need a speed faster than ultra. I think that's the that's the main takeaway. See, right now we have a great we have a great blob size. You just figured Berserker for Holy Shields? Yeah. Ber I mean Berserker is good, but the the issue is, is as we're starting to hopefully go like infinite our goal our goal changes right we want to be one rounding everything we don't want anything to survive and so perks that build towards that are better than than perks that when we get hit do damage and we ha we really have no self harm option right like we're not we're not hurting ourselves so there's not a lot of value all right i think in, in grabbing Berserk until we have a situation like this where we we fail to grab our blob. Come on, can we please just can we please just get our blob? I wanna make some money. I wanna get everybody. All right, I was just singing the praises of our blob, and then here it is betraying me horrifically. What is this? Is a Perkamat? Oh, we can do this. So we get three choices now. Like I said, natural. Uh, oh, natural strength would be good. That's that one there. I guess crit would be good too. Minimalist is the best choice there, but it is bad. Not what we were looking for. This this dagger appears to have entered the uh, the shadow realm. I do not think we will be seeing it again. Yes, good good thing we got more choices, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't think this is ever coming out.
Golden Dagger is an easy grab. We hit the chest. All right, letting this go for one more round would have been perhaps slightly more optimal. All right. We don't want to roll too aggressively. I get sometimes I get a little lost in the sauce on the rolling. That's not a thing that we want. All right, I greeted the blob and I was uh I was it was a mistake, but we're all good. Give me this blob, please. Thank you. More poison daggers are fine. Technically delaying here a little bit would have been potentially smart. ever do I think that might be the kill still <laughs> it is but I want my money well I'm not gonna get it okay so upgrades boom boom that shredder get rid of all our regular daggers what about our upgraded regular daggers? We're gonna we're gonna fill in other stuff, so I'm gonna do that. So again, we've we've weakened ourselves a little bit in the near term with the prospect of making sure that our deck is is really tuned in. And also, this does guarantee that we have a higher likelihood of always having a holy shield, which is not nothing. I really don't want to get the Holy Shield here. That was a, a strategic move to try to not get the Holy Shield, but... grabs okay we just we need to get our our cash going here come on give me the money pile please okay Whew. there we go because every time we spend a lot of money we are endangering ourselves a little bit savings account get two percent of your coins at the end of fight up to a hundred yep that's that's part of the plan part of the vision for this run i don't think we need poison daggers anymore because i think we're eventually going to be all golden daggers I guess that's a good question. That's that's not that's not a requirement of this of this current build. Like we could keep doing some poison stuff. But it does seem like just having a lot of golden daggers is probably going to be better for us. Since they hit for what right now? 123. Yeah. Good grab there. Whetstone. I wish it was better. And 
Nice gold. A little 666 gold. Hey, Zwerg, how's it going? How are you doing? Okay, goodbye, everybody. Let's see, reroll. Re -roll. I don't think. I'm trying to think what we what we actually want here. Maybe it's not worth re-rolling anymore. We've just we've, we've crested the uh, crested whatever, and we're just like. Yeah, but those holy shields for when things don't quite work out the way you want them to, this is gonna end the fight. We are still looking for golden daggers. That's the reason to reroll. Ooh. Not not the grab of our dreams. That one's better. But we left most of the most of the death bananas in the uh in the wings. So we do this so we only take one from said death bananas. Because otherwise they would prove quite fatal. I am sacking up a lot of poison on myself. Oh, that was the end of the turn. Oh, because the first thing I did was I picked up one of these. Which is smart. We need to do that. Uh, but we're also... There's a little bit of danger here. We need to get uh, we need to get some of these golden daggers in. There we go. That should, that should guarantee the win. Okay. That was a little dangerous, though. Magic Mirror is okay. You can only get it once, so it removes it from the pool if we take it. Basically, everything is upgraded. We don't really care to shred either, though. So I guess it, it really doesn't matter which way we go here. So the thing that, the thing that is nerve-wracking right now about this run is just that we haven't found the uh the golden armor yet that is going to make our health scale off of our uh off of our gold total because once we get that then things get a lot more a lot more safe the fact that we're still sitting at 100 health is a little worrisome And in fact, let's go to the Perka mat now. Okay, it is not here because it is yellow. Guess just weaklings here. We're not critting, so not that useful. Don't need another magnet. I will grab a healing flask. No, I won't. That's a silly thing to pick up. Life's good over here. Life's good. Weakling is very underrated. I don't know. We're hitting so hard. I'm I'm questioning if if we if we need it all that badly. Because as you're scaling into infinity, right? Like, I I guess twenty five percent is still twenty five percent, and that gets to be a larger and larger amount of health, but. If we could get, please get this blob. Dang it. 
Our blob is slightly unwieldy at the moment. And I don't like it. We save our shields for when he starts to hit a little bit harder. The Storm of Tourism. What, what are we referring to there? I think we roll looking for something a little more transformational here. That is valid. That is valid. I think I think we keep rolling here. One more time. 